What's going on my friends? Welcome to another video here. My name is Bijan in case you're new here and in this video we're going to be going over a quick trade recap in which I made about $4,800 with less than $3,500 invested. We made about 150-160% return. Uh, we're going to be doing a breakdown on that and I'm going to try something a little different here. Normally I don't have this screen open and I'm going to try to keep it open on this video. I'm going to keep you guys in the corner. If you notice that things get a little messed up or seem a little old school, don't judge me. Uh, give me your feedback so I know how to move forward and let's just jump into to the trade idea right here. All right, guys, so I'm going to be going over this trade right here. You guys can see it. I'm sitting in the corner here. I can actually point to the trade. It's kind of cool. Now my hand's in my face. All right, guys, we're going over this trade right here, $4,860 profit. It was a day trade, and I'm going to get a little bit more in-depth on this, so hang out, stick around, and let me know what you think of this video, if I should just do quick, quick trade recaps, or if I should get real carried away with it and give you guys all the breakdowns here, and let me know if I should continue keeping myself in the corner here, if it helps keep your attention and all that, or if you just rather see all the charts. And uh, let's go over this trade with the $4,800 profit. So... Uh, we're going to go briefly over the orders, and then I'm going to take you guys to the charts, and then we're going to bounce back here, and we're going to talk about all the strategies and all that. So first things first, let's go over the times. I was in at 8.50, and then I was out at 11.50. So just a few hours this trade was. Now, this trade isn't like a normal trade, but it's also not a not normal trade, if that makes sense. Like, it's... it's and well, okay, how, how do I, I'm gonna get carried away, guys. This is where I start rambling. So it's not like a once in a lifetime type of a deal, but it's maybe like a once a week type of a deal, maybe once a month type of a deal. Um, and that, that's pretty much that. So, a few hours, we made about 160% return. You can see I got two contracts of the 330 put. So, puts means you make money when the stock goes down. So, we're try basically saying the stock's gonna go down. I got two contracts at 1560 each. Now, remember with options, one is equivalent to 100. So if you see that it says 1560, it's actually 1,560 for one of them. So I got two of them at 1,560 each. So I believe that's 3,120 is the cost of the trade. So I always use my used car example. If you buy a used car for 3,120, that doesn't mean you're risking 3,120. That's just the cost of the trade. That's how, just how much money that you needed to have to be able to do this deal, to be able to buy that car. Now, if you're wrong and you find out, oh, you bought the wrong car, something's wrong with it, this, that, and the other, you're not going to go throw the car away or drop it off at the junkyard. You're going to maybe take a loss on it, sell it, fix it, whatever it is. So just keep that in mind when I say that we're using 3,120. We're not risking that. That's just how much we had to use. We have our plan that we'll get out for a small loss if we're wrong and all of that. So just keep that in mind moving forward here. And then I'm going to need to bring out my calculator for this one just to make sure um, we No, I don't really need to on this. Uh, you can see that a few hours later, we sold both of the contracts for 3,990 each. So that's basically 7,980 if you do the math. 3,990 times two. That's 7,980. So the cost of the trade was 3,120. That's how much we bought the used car for, for example. And then we sold it a few hours later for 7980 And that's basically where you get the $4,860 profit with only 3120 invested. And that's, if my math is correct, somewhere around 150% return. So let's jump into it on the charts now and break it down. And then I'll talk about the strategy that I used when I was looking at this and when I was planning this trade out. Uh, let's just go over the charts and all that real quick. So initially i was watching i wanted it to get a push to where did i go i disappeared wait bring me back here i am there we go sorry guys good to be back haven't seen you in a while okay so initially i wanted it to get a push to the 350 area for me to get short but it didn't give that i noticed that it ran out of steam here and kind of gave a little pullback and started popping back up so i said all right let's see how he's working right here I did a little bit of analysis. I disappeared again. I, I apologize. I'm just going to keep myself away for right now. I'll bring myself back in a second, all right? I'm not that important right now. Um, so here's the 850 that I got into the trade. Initially, I wanted it to go to the 300 or the $350 mark for me to get short or to get puts, but I kind of did a little analysis. I said, all right, he's rejecting around this 342.50 area. He's kind of breaking below here. So right here at the 850 area is where I got my two contracts. I got puts. So puts means you make money when the stock goes down. And as the value of the stock went down, the value of the puts increased. So taking it back, sorry, we're getting all tangled up here. I'll go ahead and hit you guys with a little line downward right there. 
So I had to adjust my trade plan and all of that, but we'll, we'll get into that in a second here. Now here is the 1150 that I got out of the trade. So I didn't get the exact top of the trade and I didn't get the exact bottom of the trade, but I got pretty close and I'm not upset about the fact that I could have had a little more here and a little more there. You don't focus on that stuff as I always like to say. I got a little get a little dramatic here. Got to bring the screen back. You know, don't focus on that. You just I mean, I'm happy that I even caught this large of a move. I would have been happy even if I got out like right here to be honest with you guys. Um, but that's my point is you just stick to your plan, take your profits, get out of it. And I was supposed to even based on the plan and this was on the watch list as well, by the way, the whole trade idea, the whole plan and all that. Um, if you've taken the course, you know, which strategy I used specifically, I'm going to get into it here though. Don't worry. I don't want you guys getting all bent out of shape saying, Oh no, he's just trying to hide everything. Keep all the secrets for his students. I got you guys. I'm trying to keep a good balance here. So we'll get into that in a second here. Um, but either way, it was on the watch list. We had a plan for it. So my plan was to be out of it by the time it hit 300. But I mean, it kind of dropped really quickly. I got out of it right around, I'd say the 295 area. So I got a little bit extra profit than I was expecting. That's why I say this doesn't happen all the time. Uh, you know, obviously I had the trade plan and it worked out based on the trade plan. And that's just normal trading. You know what I mean? That's just the normal trading that we do. But sometimes it gives you a little extra, a little, you know, spice on top. And this was the spice on top. Uh, it wasn't supposed to be this big of a profit, but it definitely was, and I'm happy for it. I'm happy that I caught it. It was on the watch list, all this and all that, uh, and that was the plan to get out at 300, but I got a little extra, like I said. Uh, so let's take it back to the charts here now. What happened? There we go. So $4,800 profit. I was in it 850, three hour long trade, and now we're done with all the orders. So what I want to do now is, is I want to go over this on a longer term time frame here to kind of give you guys the idea of what I was looking at. Now, if you refer back to my previous video, how to get, you know, I got to get a little dramatic here. I got to bring the screen back. So if you refer back to my previous video, it was actually the complete opposite of this trade. I have certain strategies that I look for certain things to happen. And if certain things happen, then I'll make a plan. And if that plan works out, then I'll take the trade. So it's basically like saying, hey, I'd like to see this happen. If that happens, then I'll make a plan that if this shoots up to this area, I'll get short or I'll get puts, or if it shoots down to this area, then I'll get long or I'll get calls, and then this is my plan. So a few different parameters. Now on this particular one, what I like to see is a large move, not a normal move, a large move up, like at least 5% or more. Now, keep in mind, there's multiple different strategies that come into play here. So I'm just sharing this information with you guys because people get bent out of shape saying, oh my God, he just wants us to sign up for his course when he does this and does that. No, I'm trying to really help you guys out here, trying to share the information. But we would be here for like hours on end if I had to teach you guys everything at one lesson, uh, one video here. Uh, so I want to give you the warning, please don't go and start shorting anything that's been up large or anything that's been up more than 5% because there's a lot more that goes into this. For example, why didn't I short it after it went up here? Why didn't I short it after it went up here? Why didn't I short it here? There's obviously like multiple things that go into it that made me decide to short it today or to get puts today. Now, the main one, the main reason that I was looking at it and why it first came up on my radar is because I run for scans that are up a certain amount and have a few other parameters and this one popped up on it. So what I wanted to do is get a spike to the 350 area because that's a key area. And also because of the fact, if I'm not mistaken, this thing is hitting like all time highs. So I wanted to use a little bit of a psychological area. I can bring myself back here, guys. I wanted to use a little bit of a psychological area in hand with it because we had no resistance either. So moving forward now, the reason that I adjusted my trade to the 340 area here that I got in is because I noticed, all right, everything that I was expecting, everything I was expecting to happen, happened. It just didn't get to the exact target that I wanted. And that could be me being a little greedy too, you know? Maybe I'm saying, all right, dude, I want to go a little higher before I get in. It's almost like saying, hey, I want to get a little bit more of a dip before I get into something and you start getting a little too greedy, you're not going to get it. So I analyze the trade, you know, you got to assess the situation, then take the proper action. So I came in, I said, all right, let's assess. Let's look at the situation. You know, he was running out of steam here, a little steam, little steam, little steam, got another pop up here to the 34250 area, another psychological area, completely rejected it, didn't get another chance to get up to it. And was just basically rejecting it, losing steam. And that's where I decided, okay, 
we might be getting the move now a little early. So I adjusted my plan. And this is why I say it's not great to just like follow other people blindly. You got to know what you're doing. You got to be able to formulate plans on your own. You got to have your own plans and at least understand how the market works. Like I have tons of people that are new to the market that are saying like, hey man, can you just tell me what you're going to get into? And uh, yeah, that's it. That's why I don't like to do alerts. That's why I like to maybe do the watch list more than the alerts because at least the watch list lays out the plan. You see what we're watching. You can kind of get a picture. When I say I want to get a gap up and a spike to this area, you can look back and say, why does he want a gap up and a spike to this area? If you've taken the course, you'll understand the specific strategies that I'm using. But let's say you didn't even take the course. You can at least look back and see what's going on, get a vibe, get a feel for it, and understand how the risk and reward is going as well. And then if you need to make a change, you can at least under understand how. With somebody else's alerts, they're just going to say, all right, I'm in it here. And you're not going to know where they plan to get out, where they plan to take their profits, this, that, and the other. So that's why it's always good to learn and all that. But anyways, I don't want to get too dramatic here on this video. I want to just give you guys a little, you know, chicken and rice and everything nice and a little spice. I don't know, guys. Sometimes I just ramble and talk. Uh, but I did want to give you guys a little extra than just my usual, hey, I got in here and hey, I got out there. Now, obviously, I like to do that too as like a little trade recap to motivate you guys, keep you guys updated and kind of document the journey. You know, it's cool. Uh, you know, now I can go back and look and like do it. I have videos from like six years ago, five years ago, four years ago. And it's cool to look back at myself and see how it might have grown and this and that. So I just like to document the journey and bring you guys along with me. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Please don't forget to comment below. Give me the feedback on what you guys thought about the video, the whole tying me in here in the corner, me saying hi, what's going on. If you guys like that, if you like the more detailed videos, or if you'd rather just me real quick hit and come in and say, hey, we got in here, we got out here, here's how much it costs, here's how much it this, here's this, that, and the other, this is it, that's that. Uh, give me your, your comments. And if you're new here, also comment below. Let me know if you're new so I kind of know if we're seeing any new people or not. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure you guys are following me on social media, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, whatever else there is, who's Bijan T. Um, if you want to join the watch list, I'll go ahead and... Uh, bring myself back here. I'll put the link in the description below so you can go ahead and try that out if you're interested in it. And that's pretty much that, guys. I'm um, just trying to think of anything that I might have missed. One more way that you could look at the profit is basically saying, all right, we got one of them for 1560 1560 and then we sold one for 39.90. That's a profit of 2430 which is 2430 right there. That's the difference. Multiply it by two, that's how you get the 4,860. And if you want to do the math on that to see the percentage, you can, but it was well over 100% profit. Obviously, if you put 3,200 in, 3,120 in, and you're coming out with more profit than 3,120, that's already 100% profit. So we're around 150, 160%. Um, and that's that, guys. Puts, we were trading puts. I'm just trying to think of what I might have missed, but I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll wrap it up here, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.